Well, we were not gonna do a video about the coronavirus, but turns out it could potentially impact us later down the road. Yeah. Um, so we're not gonna really talk about details about the coronavirus and how it works and all that stuff. We're just gonna kind of talk about how it could potentially impact us and how we travel, where we travel. Yeah. Because um, we saw in the news that they started shutting down some schools, colleges. Yeah. And I think there's about a hundred now. That yeah. Shut down. So that is concerning for us because um, our daughter Lauren goes to school in Alabama and she goes to school off of my post 9-11 GI Bill and uh, so the army pays for everything. The army pays for her tuition, pays for her housing, pays for her books, um, her, all of her utilities is in that housing allowance that she gets but she only gets that if she's a full-time student. Yeah. If she's not a full-time student that all cuts off. Yeah, so when there's like breaks, so spring break, winter break, that time is deducted out of the money. Yeah, so even right now, if if she has a spring break or a winter break, she has she only gets a percentage of that housing allowance. Yeah. We have to which make this up week the rest. is her spring break, so there'll be one week less of her housing. We make up the difference. Exactly, um, which we can afford to do right now. But if they were to close her school for a longer period of time, all that money would cut off. Not only that money. Well, they say people will still get paid and. It's a, it's a, fund, a government funded. <laughs> Who's they? <laughs> they? Yeah, I know. They. I mean, they, what they say and what they actually do is two different things. But they, yeah. they make us believe that her bills will still okay. get paid. Yeah. But, but if not. Yeah. So the other thing is, is because I'm disabled uh, due to combat related injuries, um, uh, and because she's still considered a dependent because she's a full-time well, student, yeah. um, we get paid more on that disability pay because I have another dependent. Yeah. Now, if her school was canceled, she would not be a full-time student anymore. That money would cut off also. So we're talking about uh, between fifteen, seventeen hundred dollars a month. Yeah. It would just turn off. Yeah. And we don't have a, a house for her to come back to. So no. she would still have to stay in an apartment, pay her bills, which um, she only has like a part-time job. Yes, yeah, wouldn't it wouldn't even come close to paying the bills. Oh no! Um, so um, we would probably have to do something like stay stationary for a period of time. Yeah. So you pay the cheapest possible, which monthly is monthly rates. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it may, it may, if if the worst scenario was government still didn't pay for her stuff yeah, yeah we'd have to stay stationary a little bit to make up so it doesn't hurt so much yeah because the monthly rate is probably we, we move about every week or every two weeks sometimes uh, so we're on weekly rate at most RV parks yeah. um, if we did a monthly rate that would cut our spending in about in half yeah uh, and then also if you're stationary you're not spending gas because you're not you're moving not every moving. week, you're not towing every week, you're not driving a lot, so that would cut down on, on gas. Um, and we would probably have to just make some more cutbacks. We probably wouldn't have, be able to eat out as much, go to do just as much. Just to be much. on the safe side because if we didn't know how long it could last. So you'd want to err on the side of caution. Yes, and another thing we haven't talked about, even off camera, is if that happened, where would we go geographically for that long-term stay? Yeah. And I think it, because we because the unknown, we wouldn't know exactly where we would be going or how long it would last. I think we'd have to go with somewhere in the south. Yeah. In case it lasted into the winter. Well, yeah, I don't see it going that far, but just lasting for the summer, we definitely want to be south. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. By since water, we're, we're, yeah. it's warm but not stifling. So I would say, since we're already planning on being in Florida next winter, if that were to happen, we'd probably just t hook a hard U-turn on our trip to New York <laughs> and head back down to Florida. I mean, what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. I mean, logically, that would be the best thing to do is just bust the U, go south, and <laughs> yeah. hang out by the water. Well, I mean, it's it's kind of it's crazy. It's getting out of hand. I mean, I mean. Yeah. All this, all this, everything's shutting. The schools are shutting down. There, the NBA has postponed 
And the SEC, they announced today, has, Everything. has stopped their tournament. So I'm really concerned yeah. about Cubs baseball. Oh, yeah, yeah <laughs> what, what on earth did we do? Actually, if they shut off baseball, well, I'm out. It's like cutting off your legs, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh we man! We've hit a crisis if the Cubs aren't able to play. Yeah, it'd be terrible. Yeah. Uh, but uh, on big major events, concerts. Yeah. Are canceling they concerts. canceled the Houston Livestock Show rodeo. and Rodeo, which yeah. was huge. I mean, they had big performers coming out there. But I mean, it's logical to do that <clears throat> stuff. That's mass gatherings. You're getting people all over. Yeah. And the Likelihood stock, is somebody's gonna get sick. Yeah, and the stock market. Don't get me started on the stock no, market. No, it's not even talking. Jay. About the stock it's terrible. It's um, temporary. It's temporary. Yeah, it's all temporary. It'll go back up. But um, we just kind of wanted to talk about how it could potentially impact us. Uh, for the time being, we're planning on still just rolling with our plan, with plan doing yeah. what we're doing. Uh, we still go out in the public, but most of the time we we're out adventuring on, on weekdays anyway. There's not a ton of people out. No, we're not interacting a lot with people. Even no. if we're out, yes. it's not like we're in a crowded place. Most of the yeah. time where we are, we have free range of the place yeah. pretty much by ourselves because people are at work or yeah. whatever. So we're not like all up on people dur yeah. during our exploration. So. And we don't go to big crowded places every once in a while. Every once in a while we do, but not very often anyway, just because I'm not comfortable in big crowds yes. anyway. To begin with yeah. and and we we're both in the healthcare profession so we yeah. were washing our hands before it was cool <laughs> that's right we've always been like wash your hands wash your hands wash your hands yeah. i've even i've always had had dry skin on my hands just because i wash my hands mm -hmm. so much and, same, and hand you know being a medic being in the healthcare profession that's just what we do yeah um and uh, even though like you're just getting over your cold and i'm in the middle of my cold yeah which it is a cold. It's just, just a, a cold. cold. We don't have the coronavirus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just your sneezy, runny nose. Yeah. I think a lot of it's allergy driven too. It is. As soon as we got down, Texas. Like south, south. I mean, I lived in Texas for five years. Yeah. Didn't have allergy issues really till then. Well, you can tell when you're in an allergy area, it takes a little bit longer to get over a cold. Yeah. Kind of lingers and hangs out a little while. That's just because those allergies are in there too. Yeah. And all those. The, big ragweed and all that is high right now in the south so yeah just suck it up gotta deal with it take your meds you'll be all right you'll be all right wash your hands don't, wash your hands. don't touch stuff <laughs> avoid people yeah. I mean, that's kind of our thing anyway yeah. in america now isn't it avoid people <laughs> yeah but um if if uh you've been impacted by the coronavirus or it's going to change how you do things if you're a full-timer or you're planning for, to be a full-timer and you're kind of rethinking it now because of the coronavirus leave us a comment let us know how it's impacted you or how it's impacted your thought process on what your future plans are going to be we'd like to hear what uh what you're thinking about the coronavirus yeah because like uh, at least on my local feed a lot is about um, a confirmed case in georgia state park so yeah you know that's something to think about a lot of campers yeah so coronavirus well, well, is, is, is closing you yeah know, that could that impact that could impact yeah where yeah. we can stay it, it could <laughs> yeah and we've already booked we're already booked all the way up to new york except for one place yeah uh, they so don't we're open we're already kind of set um and then hopefully we won't get like phone calls back saying hey we're we're not opening yeah. or we're hopefully. not letting new people not in yeah move. so we'll kind of see how this whole coronavirus thing plays out um, we'll keep you updated if anything changes for us. If we have to bust that U-turn and head back to Florida, we'll let you know. Um, hopefully everything just kind of kind of goes on. Uh, yeah. And some of the schools also were talking about if they do shut down, kind of run online classes so yeah, that virtual. students can still finish on time. Unless it's clinicals, I mean, you're kind of stuck. Yeah, if, you're, if it's a science, hands-on kind of clinical yeah. labs, that's going to be rough. But yeah. your basic classes, hopefully they can all transform into virtual class yeah it doesn't affect school then so no plan changes for now our mission is to drive on yeah. and um, I think our next veteran organization is gonna be somewhere in Chattanooga Tennessee area or Kentucky somewhere so yeah. we'll uh, keep you updated on that like we do at the end of all of our videos we're gonna honor a fallen hero appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time Bye.